Today uh, we are going to uh, see a little bit of uh, Blender tool development um, because uh, the the next uh, the next big uh, big announcement <laughs> for for it is um, mm, is a Blender plugin. Uh, actually, we already uh, published um, the very super very alpha version of this plugin on our uh, Discord server over here. There's a uh, the, the, the very first version of uh, AT Sync for, for Blender is available on uh, our Discord server. And um, so we, we are going to see um, uh, what the, the plugin does uh, right now. And um, we are going to check a little bit uh, uh, the, the development. And so we can uh, at least uh, try to implement uh, some of the uh, the new the new feature. So um, let me uh, explain a little bit uh, how the plugin works right now, um, and then uh, we are going to see uh, what to do next for for uh, for this. So um, first of all, um, the the current version of the plugin. Um, adds um, a functionality to, to Blender. Um, it um, gives Blender the, the possibility to uh, read uh, meshes that are synchronized from, uh, from Revit. Uh, for example, we uh, imported this uh, basic model from, uh, from Revit to Unity. And um, this particular um, uh, mesh here um, have a little problem. Uh, let me show you what's the problem here. If I go to the uh, material and add um, um, texture to, to the material, we can see the uh, the problem um, on the on the mesh. Basically, the UVs. Of this mesh are not uh, are not good. There's uh, th th this this issue, this error over here. Um, this can be f um, a Unity problem, uh, a AT Sync problem. It can be the um, a Revit problem. Uh, I don't know, but um, it's mm, it's good to have. Uh, some sort of uh, fix <laughs> uh, for for these kind of issues, at least uh, if uh, at least we have something to do in the in the in these cases. Uh, also, uh, sometimes can also happen that um, UVs are not imported from from Revit, and uh, so yeah, it's it's good to have uh, some sort of. Um, uh, some sort of workaround, uh, actually, and uh, so the very first version of this plugin, um, um, it's mm, uh, it's basically a workaround for for these kind of uh, problems, but um, it can also be useful uh, to to maintain some sort of um, some sort of. Uh, mm, control over uh, the mm, the meshes um, it's not so much the case of revit models but for example uh, when you work with uh, let's say sketchup uh, a lot of uh, 3d models are super heavy and um, with this um, basic workflow you are not able uh, to for example take this uh, 3d object and um, reduce the numbers the number of vertices um, but with this uh, addition to to blender we are uh, able to um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> we are able to um, sketch up his L. <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely uh, i cannot say that i hate sketchup but uh, i hate sketchup um, anyway 
uh, with this uh, Blender plugin you can actually um, select one of the mesh and um, and uh, import in Blender. Then uh, with Blender you you <laughs> you can um, edit the, the the mesh, the 3D object, and um, and yeah, you are able to overwrite the, the mesh and uh, customize the, the, the 3D the 3D, the 3D object. Uh, this mesh uh, is not. Um, let's say a public format it's an internal format we uh, we use to translate from uh, one uh, project to from one software to another and so there's no direct importer uh, from uh, for blender and this uh, plugin this very first version of the plugin um, adds this functionality so you can import this uh, type of files and um, for example you can copy this to this and select this object over here this one and we can import the 3d the 3d model um, so uh, the current version of the plugin just uh, adds this uh, this control over the the current synchronization uh, plugin from from revit to to unity and uh, then you can open uh, for example the uv editing uh, view and let's say you want to unwrap the the 3d model you can unwrap with smart v project okay uh, so now that uh, we have the 3d model uh, we can export to this uh, file uh, file type and overwrite the uh, this file over here this will maybe take a little bit and after that uh, we can see the, um, uh, the, the, the 3d model imported we can edit the, the tiling and see the, 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 the UV map are uh, correct right now and uh, so yeah mm, uh, I scheduled it uh, two mm, uh, two sessions two development sessions to add um, uh, another uh, functionality to the to this uh, blender plugin um, basically instead of only importing uh, the the 3d object i would like to import the whole uh, scene um, i don't think we can do it in uh, in, in uh, two uh, development sessions but because i i'm not so skilled uh, uh, as a blender developer <laughs> and uh, but yeah we we can uh, work together and see what happens if you if you have uh, ideas we, we are here and uh, we can uh, we can develop this plugin together